Greetings and welcome back to Warhammer Quest. So last time we unlocked the uh, the Spider Quest here, which has a recommended level of level four. So uh, seeing as I only have one level four character, I guess it's somewhat out of my league for the time being. So I'll be doing some uh, other quests to hopefully gain some experience and also gain some gold because well, I don't have a lot. So that means I can also not buy any of the nice things for example a few rings would have been interesting but uh oh it's actually pretty nice plus eight max wounds but yeah we're gonna have to uh oh that's also pretty nice two wounds per turn so yeah some uh, nice stuff that i cannot buy because i don't have uh enough money now this uh we don't have a lot of room here anymore but what I could do is just hand out a bunch of this stuff to uh, be kept in the inventory of my uh, of my guys. That would free up a bit of space. Like that, all right. Oh, maybe I should uh, get rid of a bunch of this stone bread. It's easy to buy anyway, but uh, it's taking up uh, some space. Oh, no, that's not it. Go to the market, yes, and let's sell this one and this one. All right. Okay, now we should have a, a bit more room for the next dungeon. Uh, yeah, I guess I should figure out who I bring. Maybe I'll bring the Marauder and... I'd like to bring the Warrior Priest again, because I want to get him to level 3. So let's see, Marauder, Witch Hunter, Warrior Priest, and... And the Iron Breaker, perhaps? That would work. So let's make sure that they all have some items. Yeah, he's uh, already filled up. Uh, who else? The Iron Breaker should be fine. The Witch Hunter should be fine, and the Marauder... Needs a bunch of things. Let's just take these from the Slayer. And that should be fine as well. Alright. Let's go check what we can do. So we got a choice here. This is the storyline quest. Which we will not be doing. Unless we want everyone to get killed. And well, I don't want that. So <laughs> let's see. I'm guessing this will also be somewhat level 4-ish. I'm still not entirely sure what the levels of the of the uh, random quests are. Not even sure if they have levels. Now this would be nice, silver bullets for the witch hunter, which would make him even more powerful. No, oh, I just want to check. Okay, he doesn't have silver bullets, so that would be nice. Maybe we should do that. That will make him... Oh yeah even more powerful as I said it'll be quite interesting he'll be uh... he'll be very good uh, okay so we dump the slayer for the marauder and oh right and I was gonna bring the hmm well there's the problem uh... that will mean I don't have a grey wizard can I do that without a great wizard a uh, grey wizard I'm not sure. Okay, never mind. We'll bring the wizard instead of the. Hmm. Actually, let's. Uh... Let's dump the. Ah, crap. I gotta choose between the Iron Breaker or the Marauder. He can stand in the front line. He should be rather fine. Uh, let's see. Weird or uh, Marauder or Iron Breaker. Uh, let's go with the Marauder. Because he might get the level. Well, probably not, but he'll get closer. Alright. And let's see what we can do. Silver Bullets. The warriors are combing a vast area of Baleful Moorland. Looking for a hidden entrance to a lost dungeon, which, according to the scroll discovered by one of your numbers, uh, hides a powerful weapon. Just when they are on the verge of giving up, a big owl of golden 
Feather lands uh, upon a large fallen stone pillar that must have been lying there for centuries. The owl looks at the group with saucer eyes and then hoots 13 times. The stone sinks into the ground and a mossy stair is revealed. The warriors descend into the darkness. Well, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Wait. Did I... Oh crap, I screwed this up. We only got three people. Uh... Well, hopefully that didn't kill everyone. Uh, let's do that again. So, what did I do wrong last time? I didn't select him. Okay. That's actually the first time I needed to... Uh... Yes, same story. That I needed to exit the dungeon like that. But uh, no harm done, I suppose. Oh! Ah, oh, crap! Uh, I didn't see that was the uh, the title with the arrow on it. Okay, that's not very good, but uh, it could have been worse. Alright, now... Luckily he can't get into range, so uh, we should be able to dispatch these guys pretty fast. Let's move him up. Now he can move this way, so uh, let's focus on killing these guys in the back, perhaps. Oh, and let's start off with Scourge of Chaos. Alright, only the Baroder got it, but might be enough. Dead blow. And he missed, but... Uh, let's see, let's bring in the Witch Hunter. We should be able to kill this guy. Alright, now he can not do anything okay that's too bad and for some reason he cannot shoot that's also too bad gotta make sure that this vampire troll is well gotta just look out for him uh let's see let's uh, try this out and actually killed two of them amazing okay Now we could still use Bane of Undead on a few of these guys. Uh, let's do it on the Troll. 8 damage. And let's do one more. I'm not really sure what happens if you got no willpower at all. Oh, okay. That's not good, but... Uh, let's just end the turn and let's see what happens. Hopefully the... Him. <laughs> The priest doesn't get killed. That didn't... Oh, and it's a bottleneck. Excellent. That's great. <laughs> Let's see. We got nine winds of magic. Let's start over a shadow bolt. Awesome. One more dead. Now we get him. Let's see if we can get a dead blow. Excellent. And another one dead. Now we could take... A Oh, and he's berserk and can't do anything. All right, I guess we'll go in with the witch hunter and take a stab at him. There we go. And they are down and we get some armor for the gray wizard. But I think it's pretty much the same thing he has now. Well, maybe not. I guess we'll put that in the place of this bandage. That's good. Extra toughness. He only had two, now three, so uh, that's very nice. Let's move him up here for uh, some safety in case we get an ambush. And we don't, all right. Let's continue. And let's do some healing mist on the priest. Although he does heal himself just slightly every turn, which is nice. Oh, and there we go. Skeleton and skeletons. But luckily we do have the Witch Hunter with us, so I'm actually not afraid of undead. 
because he is pretty much a undead killing machine. We got that, and he still has a shot at uh, something. But uh, let's let's try and kill the other things first. Okay, and I actually forgot to use Scourge of Chaos. Might as well do it now. Okay, it's ignored. Fair enough. All right, now take a shot at this thing. You never know. Okay, nothing. And nothing again, but let's just use Bane of Undead. Oh, still not dead. All right, do it again. There we go. And we get some uh, medium provisions, that's nice. And that's it. Now we're almost ready for the next room. I'm gonna move him there so that nothing can spawn there in case we get ambushed. Gotta make sure that the uh, boundaries are about as a uh, as uh, small as possible. All right, let's go check this out. And we got nothing. Nice thing about these rooms with nothing is that it does give the witch hunter some time to recover willpower so that he's ready for the next room in case there are undead. Then again, the more rooms you have with nothing, the longer you will stay in the dungeon and the more chance, of course, of getting some sort of ambush. But it's all pretty random and nothing again. Now he's got uh, 12 willpower again and as you can see when he has full willpower he has a lot of extra stuff a lot of uh, nice stuff <laughs> i must say that's actually very high stats all right let's check this room out and we got six crypt zombies. Okay, so that's gonna be a little more tough now. Uh, since these things hit hard and are difficult to kill. The last time crypt zombies were the death of me. So how would I do it this time? Uh, let's see. Kind of wanna move the Witch Hunter in there. Simply because he's so powerful against all these things. And let's take a few stabs. Let's try this one first. That's 13. And that's 11. No dead blow, unfortunately. But it's not uh, a disaster. Let's see if we can... Okay, that's 5 damage. Now if we move this guy up here... That's 13 and 14. Okay, I'm already glad that we actually killed it. And one damage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We can cast some Shadow Bolt. We might as well. That's some more damage. Excellent. And now we still got him. But uh, unfortunately, we can't exactly do anything with him because he's blocked. Uh, let's move him up here anyway. And let's move him as well. Hopefully this guy doesn't come here and attack him, but I don't really have much of a choice. If I, if I move him down here and we get ambushed again, then he is somewhat surrounded. So yeah, let's check it out. Alright. Alright. Now, he's still standing there, so he blocked the way for uh, this guy. Oh, and he went berserk, and did he hit someone? I think he did. He hit everyone, I think. Which is not good. 
and he doesn't have any attacks. So yeah, that's not very good. <laughs> we can move him, which I will do, because that will allow him to move here. Now, uh, let's see. Let's take a swing at this guy. 11 damage, okay. Oh, and let's use a Scourge of Chaos, because why not? And it only worked on him. Unfortunately, he doesn't need it anymore. So, yeah. We got a dead blow. Excellent. We might... Ah, oh, crap. We might have been able to kill this guy, but... Oh, yeah. And like that, it's never gonna work. Alright. Now we still got Bane of Undead, which we might be able to use on something. Maybe this guy. Okay, maybe not. Might as well go all the way. Seven. Uh, let's kill this guy. All right, now he has uh, six willpower left. We can kill this guy as well. All right, and I'm gonna stop at four, otherwise he has shaken will, which will drop his stats considerably. And let's cast some healing mist. Plus one. <laughs> Terrible. And he misses. Oh, and okay. It's only skeletons. And he's got the uh, good sort of berserk now. All right, let's start off with Scourge of Chaos. And the witch hunter got it. But let's start off with uh, the berserker. Uh, the marauder. Alright, he's dead. Uh, let's try and kill this guy. Alright. And he got a dead blow, that's great. And he's dead. Now if I move him up here... Oh, he can't move? Oh, now he can. Okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna take a swing with the... Mage, you never know. Alright, that didn't work. Okay, they're all dead and we got some small bandages. Not very useful, but we do get a Warden Circlet. But he already has one, so... Uh, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Well, my inventory is almost full. Well, no, we, we still have a bit of space left. Okay, so... Let's continue, and... Luckily, no ambush this time. Alright, and who do we heal? I guess the Marauder. Plus four, that's nice. Let's end the turn and... All right, no ambush, excellent. And nothing in this room. And some more healing for someone. Let's see who needs it the most. Uh, well... I suppose. Let's give it to the wizard. Amazing, he only has 12 wounds. I used to think he had more. That's odd. Oh well. And, alright, oh let's move in. And nothing again, but we get a choice. So, left or right. Let's go... Let's go right. Might as well use more healing mist. Because uh, a wound is a wound. It might come to that, so... Might as well use all the power we got. Let's do it again. 
Okay, there we go. And we have an encounter. Uh, but we don't actually need to stay, so uh, let's just take 10 minutes because if you stay too long, you have the. Uh, there's a downside because you can get encounters or ambushes and all that crap. And yeah, that's not really what I want. So, bats, rats, and spiders. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. And there's a, a room behind it as well. So, how do we do this one? Let's start off with the Marauder. And perhaps kill these guys. That would open the way to move through. Okay, dead blow and dead blow. Excellent. Now he can... Well, I guess I'm going to move him this way. And you missed. Wonderful. Um, Alright, what else we got? We got no winds of magic for some reason. That's odd. Let's move him this way. He, he could take a stab at the rat. And then take a shot at something. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna kill the spiders, so let's try. And he's jammed as well. That's not very good. And we got no magic power, so hopefully not all my guys get webbed. That would be bad. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And they can move very far. They got six, uh, six movement, I think, these bats. Now the spiders. Miss, excellent. And you? Webbed. Hmm. But it could have been worse. Look, luckily it's only the... Uh, luckily it's only the priest. And he's got one extra attack. Awesome. Uh, Alright. Let's start off with these guys. One dead blow. Two dead blows. Three. <laughs> ah, he missed. I think there's an achievement for uh, a certain amount of dead blows in a row. I think it's about seven or something. Okay, they're down. And what do we got? A chaos symbol and nothing else. And we could use some healing mist on the priest. Alright. Now let's move on. And let's see what's behind this door. And silver bullets within the chamber is a crypt zombie. The monster spies the warriors lurking outside and beckons them forward. Looking for this, he says, pointing at the silver bullets. Well, let's get this over with, says the beast, limbering up and bringing forth a massive blade. All right, so five crypt zombies and a bunch of smaller things. That's not too bad, but yeah, we're gonna have to be uh, careful nonetheless. So, uh, this is a regular one. This is a Crypt Zombie. Let's start off with the Scourge of Chaos. That actually worked. Nice. You got a dead blow and 10 damage. That's good. So, uh, let's see. I might be using Shadow Bolt because I could kill a bunch of these weaklings. Uh, let's see, where are all the weaklings? That's Crypt, that's normal. I can easily kill these spiders probably. So let's try that out. Okay, two spiders down. That's great. Now I can move the Slayer, uh, the Marauder somewhere 
uh, perhaps over here and take a few swings at these guys let's start off with uh, the normal one to get a dead blow and he actually killed that one awesome let's uh, swing at this guy and he missed unfortunately uh, and kill a spider perhaps nope but we do get to move him he's pretty fast let's move him down here He's got two attacks, so he could kill this guy. All right, and then kill the spider. All right, and I'll take a shot at something. That guy, perhaps, although I'm kind of tempted to uh, leave these regular zombies alive because they are almost like a free dead blow uh, thing. <laughs> You know, and uh, they take up space from the uh, from the stronger zombies. So let's focus on the stronger ones first. Okay, that's six damage. Uh, now let's see. Do I want to keep Iron Resolve? I think I do. I'm gonna keep it for now because I can't kill him in one round anyway. Oh, and he didn't make it, but. Uh, that should make him a lot more powerful to actually fight these zombies for now. They're actually all... Oh, that's pretty nice. They couldn't reach me, so I actually get to have the first attack again. And he has three attacks and he is not pinned. That's great. All right. Eight ten winds of magic. Let's start off with killing some of these things. He spins, so not much of a choice. Although I could move him in here. Kind of risky since he's not exactly a great warrior, but... Alright, that worked. Now, of course, it would have been ideal if... He had been in there. So, let's try and kill this guy. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, okay, let's see if I can shoot him nope and that's actually a crypt zombie i suppose no it's a regular one okay uh let's do it like this perhaps that'll work uh almost but uh it's not over yet i'm gonna take a swing at this guy this is only a regular zombie so that shouldn't be a problem all right he's killed excellent now, let's move him in here. With three attacks, we should be able to... Well, at least... Uh, this guy's name's Vlad. <laughs> Alright. He actually seems weaker than the other zombies. Or... No, it's the same. Alright. Maybe start off with taking a stab at this guy. Oh, no, I was gonna move him... Up there. Okay, well, guess not. I can still use Bane of Undead. Alright, that didn't work. Dead blow, nice. And 13 damage. And he's down. Now we just use Bane of Undead against this guy. And that's it. The warriors haven't killed off any monstrous resistance take the magic item as one steps forward and moves the silver bullets from its resting place the floor gives way plunging the dungeoneer into a room below for a moment the warrior fears that the the worst but is relieved to find they have not landed on spikes uh, or in a pit of venomous scorpions but a pile of gold wow okay so we get silver bullets and we get 80 gold all right well, it must have been a small pile, but <laughs> I'll take it nonetheless. Oh, great. So uh, the warrior beast has been leveled up and so has the uh, mar uh, marauder. Yes, marauder. I always want to say slayer for some reason. That's excellent, although I don't really think I have enough money to level up the marauder. And let's, uh, let's go back to Wolfsbach.
So yeah, those do look like uh, huge spiders. <laughs> Alright, now who can I level up? It's gonna be expensive for this one, I think a thousand, but I can level him up. For a 500, I'll do that. And what does he get? More attacks, strength, weapon skill and vanquish. The blessed warriors gain extra attacks for the remainder of the turn. That's uh, very good. Now let's see if I can sell some things. Yes indeed, and any more stuff I can get rid of. I didn't need this one. And let's go uh, equip the silver bullets on the witch hunter. Uh, what can I throw out? Uh, not sure. Perhaps one of these. And yeah, that's uh, very good against undead. Plus eight wounds again, so uh, that might actually one shot crypt zombies. Of course, it only works with the pistol, so uh, that's assuming that he hits. But still, that's a lot of damage from a pistol, which is nice. So yeah, anyway, I guess that'll be it for this episode. Not much more I can do since I don't have enough gold to actually level him up at the moment. Maybe I'll go around and uh, do some more random dungeons for gold, perhaps. I'll, uh, I'll have to figure that one out. So yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.